other teaching tips. So, practice. Now, my ability to play that scale is because I have gained the expertise to do so through, and the skill, through many hours of practice. And I'm sure we'll all agree that it's an essential part of learning an instrument. Actually, it's an essential part of learning any skill at all, really. Um, that much we all know, but, and here's a bit of a curious thing, that recent findings in research, music research, su suggest that we all have a propensity, to a greater or lesser extent, to practice. And this has strong genetic underpinnings. Now, this finding um, comes from research into uh, over 10,000 sets of twins, I think in Sweden it was, and these are both um, identical twins and fraternal twins. And it's really quite common for um, genetic things to actually, um, genetic research to focus on twins, because I think identical twins share 100% the same genes, fraternal twins share about 50-50, 50% 50, 50, 50 um, the same sorts of genes. So what happened in this particular research is that both types of twins were compared and the degree of genetic inheritability was determined and they concluded, the researchers, that rather than being purely down to environmental factors, the propensity to practice is partly influenced by our genes and what we inherit. So in other words, sometimes we inherit more, sometimes we inherit less um, from our parents and our genetic um, underpinning to go and do our practice. I think that's what it comes down to, which I thought was really fascinating. However, there is another factor to consider, and that is, given the same amount of practice time, different individuals will achieve different levels of expertise. Given the same amount of practice time, different individuals will achieve different levels of expertise. And again, this all was done through research. And um, in this research, uh, a series of non-pianists were given the task of learning to play Happy Birthday. I'm just going to laugh because this is really live. And at the moment, I've got a road sweeper just going past the window. So that's the noise you can hear in the background. Um, so where were we? Yes, that's right. Non-pianists were given the task, given 12 minutes to learn to play Happy Birthday with one finger, I think, or with, with you know, the melody. They were given the task of learning to play Happy Birthday from watching a video and they were given 12 minutes to do this. Now, what was interesting here uh, was that some were perfect after six minutes. Some were start, slow to start, but managed it by the end of the 12 minutes. Some started really, really well, but then seemed to lose the motivation, the will to continue, so didn't get to the end. And some just showed no progress at all. Interesting. And what seems to be an influencing factor was their cognitive ability and their musical aptitude. So what do we mean by that? Cognitive ability is their level of reasoning, their working memory, and their skill if per perceptual speed skill. Whereas musical aptitude is their ability, in this particular case, to hear two melodies as being same or different. So really interesting that, first of all, our genes seem to have uh, play an influence in how, in our propensity to practice, how likely we are to go and practice is partly inheritable, but not completely, because we know that it's probably nature, the genes, but then um, the nurture, the environment that we uh, live in also plays an influence and we'll be looking at that in subsequent weeks. So you can no longer think of the nature nurture as being polemic, it's not that, it's we know both features are important. So what does it mean though for us, the, what I've just been telling you about? And I think the evidence is strongly pointing towards that, that we have to rethink if we think it's nature or we think it's nurture and if you consider that you will tend to possibly come down on one side or the other. But instead, we've got to realise that both factors are at play. So I'd like to think about that and consider it over the week because it can influence how we teach, who we teach, whether we think somebody is musical or not musical, 
and that can have all sorts of impacts on that student and their ability to develop. So I'll come back to the whole practice uh, debate next week. This, this research, if you're interested to know, is um, from a, a recent publication from the Oxford University Press and it's the Oxford Handbook of Music Performance, which has just been published and is fantastic. It's a bit expensive though at the moment, so um, I'm just passing on all the, all the nuggets that I find in it to share with you. So, there you go. Practice, neither, it is, or rather, practice is both nature and nurture working together. Okay? And I shall see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.